to be honest it looks like quite difficult to aim for them look at how much pace it is when you don't have like a normal trailer on nothing harder than trying to drive around here with all these potholes yeah i think that's my best option to be honest oh no. let me see how far that is from that wall here we, we are oh here they are i'm not gonna be able to collect the trailer today so i think i'm gonna do it tomorrow morning I'm getting the number plate and getting all the stuff done then we get out of here put a weight ticket on it and leave the trailer Here we go again guys, today I'm going to be doing something that I've been looking forward to do for a really long time What I wanted to do is bulkers, exactly that one That's a three axle one and we got a two axles over there And that's me there obviously and that's the camera Hi. Now next what I'm going to have to do is get underneath for them, strap it out And make sure no lights come on and stuff like that, the axle lift and the metal and all that blah 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 All my luck and stuff like that Gonna go and get it and make sure it's empty as well And all them ones, that one's empty but that's a door yeah that's got two axles only i need a three axle one which will be one of this i might take this one you know but before anything i need to get on top of it and see if there's anything underneath go and check that to be honest it looks like quite difficult to aim for them what the hell to be honest you gotta you got you gotta be spot on this one it's not like the normal trailers because like where the kimping is it's all the way forward all right, hold on. Let's put the unit down and then let's just reverse into it now. Yeah, that should be enough. Woo! Okay, let's lift this. <laughs> I'm getting excited about this. So slowly go back into it. Oh, that sounds so sexy. This is the only problem when you're doing bulkers is that everything is dirty around you. The dog clip on. Always I put everything in line and then one by one. First one. Oh no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Second one. Third one. ABS. Supply line. <sighs> Look at how much pace it is when you don't have like a normal trailer on. Even, even the trailer's got something different, which is this plate. So that is so like the legs doesn't cave in, in the ground when you go to farms. Even when you're here in the yard, because as you can tell, it's quite dirty. Wow, Woo. Wow, that was taking some time. Wow. One thing that I didn't do is get in the top to make sure that it's empty. And that is what they look like inside. I need to put a strap that comes all the way home over the top and then decide what goes on from there. Let's gonna push this forward, let's do it. Yes, man, look at that. So what I'm gonna do now is pee, check my trailer over, make sure it's intact. So that means it's empty and that's down, which is a good sign straight away. That's why I got told before, I'm not too sure about many things, but I need to close this stuff. So always make sure you got some good gloves with you. When you lift this side, that side lifts as well because it's united. So closer there. Put them in a secure position and then this lever. Bearing in mind, I just got to teach how to do all this today. And then the same with the side, and then just put it tight down. Wow, and that's it. All right, one thing I need a long strap, and I think that'll be long enough. So I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna throw it over the top, I'm gonna go from there. So I clip it together there, and I know that's not gonna come off. Let's put it together like this. That's tight enough. It's very tight. That's not going to come off. Let's make another clip. Nothing harder than trying to drive around here with all these poor holes. At least we get to know it. Woo! So I haven't got much time to do many things. But I'm going to try to get down there and get a trailer swap. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do it tomorrow, early hours. So, I'm going to go and check this. Going to go to the office two seconds. Be back in a second. All right, just been given all the directions. Time to go now and do. So, I just realized now that I haven't got that much time left. 
Um, I only got driving time. Why is that driving time? I have three hours and 32 minutes. All right, that's not a problem because that seems like a lot of time, but it's actually it's not. Because from now, to let, it's gonna take me from now to when I get there about two hours and plus picking the trail and plus if I get a little bit messed up because I've never been around there even though I looked it up on the internet anything can go bad even with traffic going through a stalk all that stuff comes into into consideration hopefully hopefully I'll be able to collect my lot which I know I will be able because it's just getting there getting the lot and out the door straight away which sounds pretty easy and simple but it's not I'm not gonna get to this place. I've been on track in traffic now, and I'm just on the N6 just, just after a dog, and the traffic's absolutely horrendous. I'm not gonna get anywhere. Being on traffic, I know I only got two and a half hours. Oh, look at that. Look at the amount of traffic just up the bridge. It's loads and loads and loads of traffic. Um, this is gonna carry on as well, and I know for a fact that when I get to Stoke, it's gonna be more traffic as well. Got to the end of the traffic. <laughs> Took about two hours just to get through that bit. We managed to get in Stoke now, but with the times and all that, and I haven't got that much time left, because I have to stop at half five. Uh, 23 miles to go. I'm gonna try to get there and get my trailer and at least pack in it. I don't know, I'm gonna have to stay in a lay by tonight. Didn't wanna do that, but don't have an auction now. Ha! Traffic was absolutely horrendous. And look at that. It's going to get even worse. If I see the traffic gets bad around here and stuff like that, you're going to stop straight away and pick that trailer tomorrow morning. I'm not going to lie to you, some tight bends around here as well. And the trees just overlapping each other and all that. That is fantastic. Really like going under the trees when they're like this. Because it feels like you're going under the tunnel or something like that. Wow, amazing what nature does. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do this. All right, coming up to a tight turn. Okay, yeah, I should be all right. That's more than enough space to get around. Okay, I, want, I just want to see around this side. Yeah, tractor coming around. Yeah, should be enough there to get out. Whoop, trailer coming around. That's it. That is a quick turn. Oh no, this is this is the last thing I needed. Oh man. Let's see what is going on. I don't know, I think somebody just like had to stay there. Police just giving us the wave and all that. I don't know what's going on with that, it looks fine to me. Okay, this is the carrot place. This is where I need to be collecting my trailer. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to collect one today. So I'm just gonna carry on going forward, trying to turn around. I'm gonna stop that quick there. I'm gonna, get, gonna go and ask him if he wants me to get in there, drop this one and collect another one. So not sure what he want me to do, but I'm gonna try to turn around somewhere. It's a dead busy road, so find a lay by or something with to turn around, trying to get space from people. Just gonna get in here and just turn around. Um, yeah, I think that's my best option to be honest. Just turn around. Oh, no. let me see how far that is from that wall. Yeah, that's fine then. All right. Oof. Apparently, by, by what he said, a lot of a lot of the lorries come down here and it's exactly the same thing. Here we, we are. Oh, here they are. Um. I don't see much going on there, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go drop this trailer um, and just knock it off on, on the head straight away because I got an hour left and I don't want to be getting an infringement. i not getting an infringement, I just wait until tomorrow and collect it tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning is going to be the one. What I'm going to do is just drop this trailer here and then just, just, just knock it on the head. All right, let's maneuver here because I haven't got the time to do anything. Back up there and just wait for the other lads to come around. Because just put it back to back or something like that. That should be alright then. Alright. I pushed as hard as much as I could, but I'm not gonna be able to collect the trailer today. So I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning. Check the trailer. That that's still like rock hard. 
that was a good idea. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna run and roll after I get my number plates. I need to because I'm running low on time. Let's do it. Last check on the trailer, just make sure so right absolutely everywhere and then I'll be able like to go and rest <sighs> okay that is the last one so I got 51 minutes to find out where to stay I just found a lay by I just need to spin around now when this traffic is gone all right we're out of there we're here and we're gonna park up behind this car here Oof. So glad to have a trailer, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get in here. So I'm just doing my paperwork right now. Um, afterwards, uh, I'm gonna go to sleep. It's gonna be an early one tomorrow. It's gonna be a half two in the morning getting up. It's not a hard one. I got up that time this morning, so maybe another 15 tomorrow. God knows, but the more hours I do, the more money I get as well. So push as much as you want. As long as I'm not breaking the rules, I don't care. So. morning lads is currently 10 past 2 in the morning i am full of energy somehow even though that my body's tired <laughs> i am full of energy somehow i don't know how i do it but i'm like this absolutely every day all right let's go and pick that bucket and go back to the yard yep all right <laughs> oh it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to get out of there and it's one of the guys here already so um i think it's gonna be like load or something or somebody already picked it up uh, and i haven't got the time to be fussing around to be honest that one seems that one seems full to me all right i know which one i'm taking with me now just making sure all the lights work <sighs> because it doesn't go in as you want it to be yeah that is pot on that Okay, that's the click we were looking for. I'm gonna do all this as quick as I can. Because I have it, like I said before, I need to be in the yard at five o'clock. So I haven't got the time to waste because it takes a while to get from here. Plus back roads, plus closure roads, and all that kind of stuff. I'm getting the number plate and getting all the stuff done, then we get out of here. Believe it or not, collecting carrots is the way you make all your money collecting carrot how easy is that it can't get any easier than that trust me nice truck collecting bulkers doing little works like this getting up early in the morning a lot of hours but at the end of the day you walk out with plenty of money in your pocket if you make it there at five all good all good that was that, that's all we got to do that's all we got to do and that's more than enough time because that's two hours and that is what Sanaf says he's going to take he's going to take us together i know the way there i'm just going to drive um hope for the best i know i've been driving for long at night time like well when i say night time it's between one o'clock two o'clock in the morning it's actually three o'clock in the morning but it's a completely different experience if you haven't drove a HEV at night time you really won't know how difficult it is like coming coming out of a, like a tight corner and stuff like that sometimes you can't even see your trailer the only way you can work it out that your trailer is still behind you is by looking at the markers when you're turning yes we have a right so all we gotta do now is turn left in here obviously because you can't see me signal, me signaling as well um, as soon as we get in here, what we gotta do is just go on the way bridge straight away and go and get a ticket. When we get a ticket, all I have to do is go and pack up this trailer and then find out why I go for the rest of the day as well. But it's, it's an easy one. So you're just gonna leave the trailer here. I have to put my jacket on because it's a bit colder than normal. Um, run over all the way there, go and get a ticket and then come back. <laughs> all right, I got my ticket now. And what I'm gonna do is, drive out of here go and pack it up over there take my trailer off put the weight put it this way put the weight ticket on it and leave the trailer um 
Yeah, that should be it for me. Let me see where I pack this. Um, so it's up to me where, where I pack it. I don't want to pack it there, actually. Actually, I might pack it just there, you know. I just want a bit, a bit closer, not too much. That should do, I think. Yeah, that should do there. Happy days. So all, I, oh, so all I gotta do now is just take all these lines off, put my ticket here, show you now, hold on. Take all the lines off. Okay, there's two. It's a little bit tangled as well. Because they like all crisscross kind of stuff. Uh, fold it up. This is why I got Tish here. So you fold it up and then you're going to put it on the trailer. And then you probably think, like, where the, he where, where, where the heck are you going to put it? Show you right now. So what I've been told is you left this and you just put it there and hope for the best. Hopefully it's going to be there later on. But that's done. That's my job done. All I gotta do now is just take take this trailer off and get going. So I do that right now. All right, guys, just putting my number plate down now. Uh, this is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. If you wanna comment anything, just go on for it. Just actually anything you want. If you want a job at Haunted Park, let me know, message me, and if I can help you out with it, I will pass you details to the one of the guys here and don't want to mention names because i don't know if they want to be mentioned stuff like that and another big shout out to phil again i said i was going to give you another shout out guys thank you you've been amazing cheers for everything thank you have a good day